Um, the, well, the, the short answer would be n no, but, um, you know, you, you got to ask yourself this question, you know, if, if it was to save your life, you know, because of medical enhancement or whatever else it might give you, would you then? You know, it's easy for us to say, no, I definitely wouldn't want to have, you know, any piece of technology inside my body, but maybe that is the natural advancement of of a human being. Maybe that's what we need to actually survive. A lot of experts way smarter than, than me, you know, say that this is an inevitability. It sounds crazy, but if, you know, we want to keep the, you know, human race going, then we're going to have to, you know, evolve at some stage where we do have technology in our body. Me personally, no, I wouldn't want it, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't put my hand up now and say I wanted it, and I, I try to distance myself as much as I can from technology and social media now. Having it in my body, I would say no, but I completely agree with Guy, like, if that's how we evolve, and that's the only way of survival, then who knows what we'll be saying in 15 years' time. Yeah. I don't think we're far at all. I think in the last 15 years, we've evolved, so, technology has evolved so much. Um, to think that we now have little things in our room and we say, Alexa, turn the light on. Alexa, put, that's, that, that's crazy. And, you know, I didn't have a phone. Well, did I have a phone 15 years ago? I can't remember when I first got a phone. Pager? I think you had a pager. Did I have a pager? <laughs> Way back then. <laughs> you had one of those big phones. Anyway, Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but, so yeah, I, 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 I believe there's, there's so much going on now that we're immersed into this world and we think it's normal. And it is normal. It's no. become our norm. And I think uh, the feed could definitely happen. You know, it's so, it's science fact. It's it's where we are heading, where we are already. Oh, Guy definitely is someone, one of the few people I know that doesn't use social media, which I think is fantastic. I, be, I believe, I think I was a bit more addicted in the past um, and I think it comes with the, the, the job and not wanting to give my everything away that I've stepped away and just, it's nice to keep certain moments to yourself. It's nice to connect and look in yeah. people's eyes. It's nice to go to the restaurant and not take a picture of your food. So I think I'm starting to keep a lot more things private. Yeah, I think privacy is a good question because, you know, you've you got to ask yourself here, you know, how much privacy do we actually have today? I don't think too much. You know, if somebody wants to know more about you, they can. Within our occupation, you know, we can choose how much we share and how much not. I think there used to be a lot more mystery about people in the past. Mm. And I think, um, but privacy in itself is what's the interesting question. I think it, it relates to today's society. It also relates to what's in the show. You know, uh, how much are you willing to give of yourself? You know, and it's interesting, you know, when you were asking about... Um, when do you think this, this will happen timing wise perhaps we can't predict exactly but like Nina says I think it's very close and I think we are past the point of actually no return with it I know that might sound scary but it's it's actually just it's it's truth you know and 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 these you know much smarter minds than ours have already said this that we've already passed the point of you know, where there's no stopping this and there's no controlling this. So how do we now evolve towards it? You know, that's that's kind of the important. And it's interesting that we can have this philosophical question rather than, or philosophical uh, conversation, yeah. rather than just talking about what the premise of the show might be and what, you know. Well, I think people fear the unknown, mm. you know? I think people probably feared where we'd be today. And then, you know, now, you know, shows like Black Mirror, which are great, you know, and, and obviously influence what we, we've done with our show. Um, I think, you know, Nina mentioned science fact, and that's what's interesting here. It's not just a science fiction. It's something slightly different here. There's something that actually could happen. And the scary element of this is not, we're not trying to scare people with like, you know, like say a horror movie might scare something or a different genre might scare something. We're just giving something that is quite grounded and that's what's scary because it's it's quite honest yeah. and it's quite real, you know, and we fear the unknown. That's just the way it is. I'm sure we'd fear today 
10 years ago, you know, if somebody told you like, hey, listen, you're all gonna be living through your iPhones and your laptops and Google, and they're gonna know everything about you. You're gonna have a conversation, you're gonna go on your social media and they're gonna market something, you know, how many people like me today? And all this kind of stuff, you know, we, validation, you know, comes into the same conversation as privacy and everything else that's happening.